All right, there he is, all of in lovely, giant ass glory. Let's go ahead and uh, switch on over here and let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, here we've got the Masked Mechanical Monster Goat. It was a cheap shot, man. So, just like before, we need to go ahead and murder him. Now, the game places a lot more emphasis on using I as his weak points. Why they did this, I don't know, but you basically need to land on him so that he drops, and uh, thus exposing his weak point. Giant I. It's like Nintendo. This is not good. Is it really... Ah, uh, do you think people are really like, oh my god, what is his weak point? Does it have to be an eye? I mean, I know this is like more or less a game for kids-ish, but they just really, you don't need to make it that obvious. We know eyes are weak points. This isn't like the first battle. Uh, it's such a weird addition anyway. And we're going to start with his electricity. It just goes through the ground. Oh, uh, there we go. Now sometimes, if you're lucky, shit. Um, the eye will actually be at a level where you can punch it, and it's just better not to have to transform to Young Link every single time. So, yep, we have to do this a couple more times. He actually takes four cycles to kill for some reason. No idea why. It's a little overkill, I think. And I mean, oh god, Jesus, that thing almost sniped me. So now we've got stalactites, ugh, or stalagmites, I should say. Maybe. It's one or the other. Quick, kind of throw your electricity at me. That is, oh my god. Don't even, oh, you son of a bitch. He's usually really dickish with <laughs> the placement of, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Normal attacks are not super effective against rock types, good sir. Oh, great, now he's sending, oh, great. And that was nice. I didn't even touch it, and I got messed up. Um, so this boss, he's, hmm, Goat is just kind of annoying on every single like, iteration he's in. Uh, let's see. Uh, it's here, so let's go and switch over. And for, oh, excuse me. Yep. One. Excuse me. Do it. Two and three. Yeah, we have to do it again. It, it. He always gets up after three shots, so you have to do it a fourth time. I don't. Is it really? I mean, I, I'm pretty sure Adalwa took only two cycles for three. I guess on the third. God. So floaty. So bouncy. Alright, asshole. But I think he only takes one shot, so maybe it's just ten shots with the fire arrows. Can you not do that? Oh, wow. Here, right here. Asshole! Guess what? You get the butt. Ugh! Oh, I missed. Okay. Well, whatever. <sighs> that wasn't too bad. Still a little disappointing, but... So that was GOAT in the 3DS. Of course, ah, just that eye thing. I really don't know how I feel about it. Do you guys like it? If you guys have played it, let me know because I feel really ambivalent about it. Is it something that we really needed to have to do for all the bosses? And did it really have to be that obvious? I mean, it... I don't know. But uh, anyway, we for some reason crashed over here. Let's grab our lovely heart piece. Full mock speed, and ladies and gentlemen, our 10th heart container. It's now complete. Let's collect the remains and get the hell out of here. You've seized Goat's remains! Doing so, you freed the innocent spirit that was imprisoned within this dark mask. Oh, oh, oh. 
So we instantaneously unfroze uh, most of the mound filled with snow, which I'm sure could not be, you know, the flooding that would occur from all the snow that's been melted would have done so much more damage than the snow already did. Anyway, you'll notice that a frog spawned here. As you know, we have Don Gero's mask. This is not the only frog that we've seen so far. I've been waiting for you, Don Giro. Forgive me if I'm mistaken, but it looks like you've lost a little weight. Wait, you're... You're asking me to forgive you in case you mistook a compliment for me. As you can see, Don Jero, the long winter has ended and spring has finally come to these mountains. Let us begin our course. Oh, oh damn it. <laughs> this is a solo act, buddy. So, anyway, there are four other geckos, or geckos frogs that we need to collect, the rest of the choir. Uh, some of them are that we've seen so far, like in the laundry pool or in Woodfall Temple, as well as this one. But where could the other ones be? Could they possibly be in other areas? Who knows? That would be silly. Anyway, let's uh, let's put on our bunny hood, and I guess that would probably be good. Get rid of the ice or fire arrows. Ice arrows. And there we go. Let's get let's get over here and collect our new razor sword since I it was only morning, but a couple hours ago. How's it going? I kept you waiting, but it's done. Yeah, recycled automations. Your Kofi sword has been strengthened. Blah blah, you can use it a hundred times. It's very nice. Something that not a lot of people go through their playthroughs doing. <clears throat> you fixed the mountain smithy's hearth, and the cookery sword was sharpened. Alright, so after we use it a hundred times, it'll go back to its original sharpness, and if we bring him gold dust, he'll be able to make the strongest blade. That is our next task, because um, we've done things, um, we will now be able to acquire gold dust. But a lot of things have changed here. I mean, for the most part, everything's still roughly the same. But, uh, we're gonna go head off to, uh, I believe the Goan Village and do things there. You can also head over here to get to the top of the, uh, the thing, but you need to be a Goron. And we'll go up there a little bit later. There's not really a need for us to do that right now. But, uh, something not a lot of people have known. Wait, am I going backwards? I'm totally going backwards right now. Oh, never mind. There's just randomly ice here. <laughs> for things. Alright. So let's go. Uh, this entire area has melted. There's now a small lake here. Good to know. <laughs> um, let's leave. I'm done with this place. I'm out of here. Unless this is still here. There's Gways running around, and these white wolfos have been reverted to regular ass wolfos. Hey, leave me alone. So, and because it's not freezing anymore, they can now leave their their area opened right here. Very nice. So hopefully, hopefully that Goron, he was still frozen when we left him, right? Hopefully he didn't just like thaw inside of the water because Gorons cannot swim. I mean, the rocks, they can't swim. Uh, but fortunately he made it here all right. Good job. Good to know you didn't drown in the lake where you were frozen. Oh, Dramani, I've been waiting impatiently for you. I've been waiting for your arrival ever since I heard the news. I'd heard that you, the one whom I once thought to be dead, had sealed off the blizzard that was blowing in from Snowhead. You know, technically, wasn't the blizzard, wasn't that coming from the guardian of the Goron temple? I don't know. We stopped him the first thing in that video, so... I don't know. The mortal Gor... Mortal Goron who is not dead, even if he has died? That's Darmani! Star whom we wish upon, that's Darmani! That's a little weird. So I'm the greatest of Gorons. So why... Why... Hmm. I'm the greatest in the world. My son got better immediately. He went to see the Goron races that celebrate spring. This time I, the protector of this tribe for so many years, chose to yield the seed of tribal patriarch to a younger one. So, yeah, the Goron who makes calm decisions yet boasts courageous determination can take care of all shall be the patriarch. Chosen one, Darmani's niece. So yeah, for saving them, they decided to throw the burden of all their politics and economic crises, as well as the ailing environment issues. Well, they're throwing it on to me. So anyway. He'll tell me to think it over, and he won't actually ever let me do that. So, it's no big deal. I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be the leader of these guys anyway. Um, so interestingly enough, I forgot to mention this actually, but that is already Darmani. It's like, uh, <laughs> you guys see, you guys see the resemblance? I'm already revered here as all hell, so 
It's nice of them to put that there. I really appreciate it. Now, if we try to head to the Goron races, there's going to be a giant rock in the way, and that is no fun. So we need to find a means of busting it open without, you know, too much hassle. And fortunately, we have just the place. This little area right over here. We got ourselves the Goron Powder Cake Shops. So, yeah, this is really good. Now, <laughs> funny enough, uh, from the original, you originally wouldn't be able to get up here as a Goron, which led to the question, how do Gorons get up here if it's a, you know, powder cake shop for Gorons? But they added little steps. Nice little touch. Anyway, we've got ourselves a little bit of an issue here. How's it going, buddy? Missed you. The Goron who sells powder kegs, the most famous product of the Gorons. The powder keg, they explode and are very dangerous. So if you guys recall, this is a black market bomb. I mean, we saw some in Clocktown, but basically we can't use them until we have a license to use them. That actually seems pretty smart. So anyway, we need to destroy the boulder that blocks the entrance, blah, blah, blah. It's good business. <sighs> when the powder keg means taking faster, it means it's about to explode. Okay, cool. Now this is kind of annoying in the sense that um, if you get hit by like a Tektite or anything uh, and you drop it, um, it'll explode. You're going to have to start all over and you get like a buzzer sound. It's just like, you suck. You suck at carrying things. How could you? It's it's a little silly, but it's not too bad. And upon collecting the powder keg, another really interesting difference that I noticed, that everybody noticed that they were doing this, they added an obstacle course. The worst obstacle course in the world, and they added it. It's really funny that they did that because it's like, did that really serve any purpose whatsoever? Some game designer put it in like two hours to put those there and for whatever reason it's like oh that's a good idea I'm just thinking I might have a little bit of trouble no no that was dumb <laughs> I'm sorry some of the things they had it's like it didn't need that it didn't need any of that so remember be very careful because if you drop if you drop it it's just you have to start all over and we already have to go revisit him again don't oh you fucker you fucker don't even get away from me Okay, he, he was, like, <laughs> anticipating me for a minute there. And it's tech tight here. So those should be the only enemies you really face over the course here. Oh, we're pretty much good. We should head up here now that we're Goron. Ooh, just gonna throw this powder keg. If I throw it with, you know, the force of a thousand men, it'll be fine. But if I drop it five feet from my face, then it'll be destroyed. So anyway, we're gonna go put this a little bit closer. And put you right there. Hey, how's it going, little buddy? How you doing? Ah, darn me. Oh, it's nice and warm up. I'm much better. My daddy isn't right beside me. I won't be selfish and cry. Okay. Couldn't you have done that like an hour ago when we were putting you to sleep? Anyways, now that it's spring, Goron races are going to be starting. And that's really good. You can only do the Goron races after you have beaten Snowhead Temple. And uh, remember, every time you go back in time using the Song of Time, uh, you'll have to rebeat the boss in order to have the effects of, say, like the Goron races take place. It's pretty interesting. What the hell? Gways? Gways? Hold on, I want to kill this Gway real fast. This asshole. Ugh. There we go. Is there something else? Alright. Anyway, you can actually destroy powder kegs by uh, shooting them with arrows. Shooting them with arrows. <laughs> Did it. Thanks a lot. Bring right in. Oh, he'll be waiting for me. He's like, you're human, but do you want to play with Gorons? That'd be a great idea. And how did I get hurt by that? A couple odd things happened there. That's okay. Whew. All right, we passed the exam. Victory! Come on, let's go tell that big Goron. We will in just a moment. Let's have ourselves a little bit of fun in the Goron races, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. My name is Elsa Cruz. Here we are on the racetracks. What are you... What are you... What are you doing? Excuse me, sir. Uh, you wanna... You wanna explain this? Would you like to explain this to your wife? What do you call that? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll be last again. Stop that. This is a game for children. As indicated by the extreme, I don't know, subject matter, I guess. Anyway, for whatever reasons, this little twerp is the head of the most notorious race in history. So anyway, see, everyone's restless because they can't wait to enter. So yes, of course we're going to enter. So if your magic power runs low, they conveniently put green jars on the course. Because for whatever reason, the only Goron that happens to be entering this race is me that can use magic. So literally, the only reason why those jars are there are for me. <laughs> None of the other guys can use it, but they can break them. It's annoying. And boom, shakalaka. You want to be careful because you can actually have a false start and start over. So here, it's pretty straightforward. The AI has some weird ass, I don't know, AI, I guess, like rubber band ass physics. If you go too fast, 
then they'll just like whip right past you. It's really annoying. A lot of Nintendo games do that. And I just hate it. Like I just realized how much Mario Kart does it. It is really bad. Uh, shouldn't they be coming out with more DLC pretty soon? Mario Kart DLC? Maybe. There's also bombs. Be careful for. And uh, these guys are gonna be annoying. But as long as I'm like staying a little bit far behind, I'll be able to just like whip past them and be like, "Hey, bitches! I'm not cheating. I'm just more advanced than you. I'm your new patriarch. Get back!" <laughs> So yeah, you have to get first place in order to beat this, and I'm doing already pretty poorly right now. So you need to be careful not to fall off edges, because uh, you'll get guilt tripped. Don't even, hmm, you'll get guilt tripped and say, well, you can't really win anymore. <laughs> Do you just want to give up? It's kind of nice that they did that. So let's hope that, oh, just like hug this corner here, so it doesn't rubber band me into existential crises. Ooh. Yeah, get out of here, get out of here, you prick. Oh god, thank you. That guy just kind of like bum rushed him. Ray, I win! I win! Hey, hassle! <laughs>